Hey guys, so today is a big day. Um, I take my TSI test today. Electronics aren't allowed, so I'll probably just leave my phone in my car. I don't see this taking me too long that it would do anything to it. And my console, in my console it stays fairly cool. So I think I'll just leave it in there because my test is at 10. It is 7.30, I think, in the morning right now. And my cat woke me up at 6.30 because she wanted her food. So I just figured I'd just get up and start moving around. I have a chiropractor appointment at 8.45. Um, for a long time now, my jaw has sort of done this weird pop thing. And I don't know, my mom thinks I might have some sort of TMJ, but if I open my mouth, it goes off kind of to the side. And last week it was popping really bad. And so I'm gonna go to a chiropractor and see if they can fix it. It has been doing this weird little shifting thing since I was in high school. I just never really did anything about it, but the clicking is starting to be more frequent and I don't like it. So I'm gonna go and have that done. And then from there, I'm gonna go and take my test. And then after that, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Makeup is gonna be minimal today just because, you know, I'm going to a chiropractor and they're gonna be pushing on my face, you know, right here. So I'm not gonna go too crazy with the makeup. I just, I don't wanna look half dead when I go in. I set a goal on the TSI prep thing that I wanted to get at least 90% finished before I took my test. And I think it was Monday or Sunday night, I hit that goal and I was like, yay me. After I hit my goal, I, I was gonna keep going, but it was like starting with functions and stuff. And I was like, I, I don't know about this. I'm just going to stop. So I went back. The way this prep thing was set up was you had little units. So there was like a geometry unit. There was a graphing unit. There was a this unit, a that unit, blah, 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 blah. And each unit had like four to ten like sub modules or whatever. And so once you've mastered those, there was a unit test. Well, I left the unit test alone. So I went back and started at geometry and started started the unit test. And it's asking me for area of, well, it's actually, it was asking me for the volume of something. And I can't remember the, you know, the equations for finding the area or the volume or the this or the that for whatever. I printed off a formula sheet, like what you, uh, what they give you at the beginning of the year in high school. Maybe they do it in college too, I don't know. So I had this formula sheet but one of the questions was some little girl has a toy ice cream cone and they gave me you know the diameter and the height of the cone and to find the volume of the total thing I used the volume formula because it makes sense and I'm not seeing the answer so it asked me for volume but the answers that they had were if I were looking for the area so for about half an hour I'm sitting there debating whether or not this was a good idea. I'm texting my husband because he's on vacation. He comes back today. I can't do this. I don't remember anything. And I was just like freaking out because, you know, I haven't been in school for 12 years. And then I go and I try to teach myself all this stuff in just a few months. I'm obviously not going to retain all of it, but I was acting like I didn't know what I was doing. And I did know what I was doing. It's just the question had the wrong set of answers. They had area answers instead of volume answers. Just the modules, there were some answers that were obviously wrong, like, or the correct answer wasn't even listed. So I'd pick an answer that I knew was wrong and it would say that it was right. And I was like, well, okay. I hope that the TSI is a little more put together <laughs> and that it's not so all over the place. I'm, I'm sure it is because it's a state test, but you never know. That's where I'm at right now. I'm just kind of debating about the day, 
how it's gonna go. I'm trying to not stress out about it. So, cause I know myself, if I start to stress out about it, then I'm just gonna freak out once I get in there and not remember anything. And I'm just gonna be a big fat failure. And I mean, I can retake the TSI. That's like one of the, one of the perks, I guess, but I'm running out of time here since I, you know, I work full time. And the only time that I'm really allowing myself to do this is when I have a day off because I don't know how long these tests take. And I've read somewhere like to allow yourself four hours, which seems insane. There's only 20 questions, only 20 questions in the math. The reading and writing one, I'm not that concerned about. I can't see it taking four hours. That just seems crazy. I don't know. I don't know what I did right here. I think I scratched myself in my sleep. I'm just trying to be chill and not freak out about this test. Cause so I can retake it. It's only a $29 test. And I think I can actually select just the math if I completely bomb the math section. Which is good because that's really the only one I'm worried about, as you may have noticed. So I'm just gonna go with minimal, minimal makeup today because I don't know, I don't feel like going too crazy. I say minimal and then watch my eyes are gonna get all dramatic. I love this little spinny thing. All my stuff like can just stay in one spot. I don't have to make a bunch of noise. So nice. My mom is meeting me at my chiropractor appointment. It's actually someone that she sees. So she could probably tell him more about what my jaw's done over time because she's the one who sees it. I don't I don't really see it do anything unless I'm like editing a video and then I'm like sliding through the, the video trying to find like a a shot that could be used in the thumbnail and I've stopped my I've stopped my videos and my jaw will be all like so it looks like I'm talking out of the side of my mouth. I haven't really noticed it very much um, when I watch them back, like, you know, to make sure the editing isn't, you know, garbage. Um, but I have noticed it whenever I'm looking for a thumbnail that I'll stop sometimes and my jaw's all uh, off to the side and I look crazy. What? Oh, this looks so weird. <sighs> So I made a, a a late evening run to Target last night. It wasn't really a late evening. It was like seven o'clock or eight o'clock. And I got some more, I got some new makeup. Actually that NYX concealer um, was new. Um, this one, I decided to get it because I, I don't, I have a concealer, but it's by e.l.f., but I bought it when I was sort of more tan, so it doesn't match me right now, which sounds weird because it's the summer. I wanted to get something that was, that matched me more, so I went and got, I got this one. And I like it so far. It went on pretty good, and my eyes look a little brighter, and I don't look like I'm half asleep. And then I bought more of my e.l.f. lip exfoliant for the mint, because this one's almost out. Like, that's, that's it. This one's my favorite one. I have a cherry one that I got in a bundle pack for Black Friday, but I don't use it very much. And then they had, they just came out with one that's coconut, which I haven't used yet. But it smells so good. It smells like, it smells like summer. After this, I'm just gonna hang out and maybe eat something. And the next time you'll see my face will be either on my way to the TSI test or right after the TSI test. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Guys, I just got out of the testing center. Somehow, I passed all three sections. Yay me! The only thing that I wasn't prepared for, but I think I winged it pretty well, was I had to write an essay. That was not part of the plan. That was not part of the deal um, originally. I think all they really cared about is if I could write an essay that was at least 300 words long, because 
I guess the highest score is a four. I don't really know, but I got a four and it just said with word count on. And it gave me all these other descriptive thingies. But okay, so for the reading and writing, I needed to make like a, uh, I needed to make a 351. On the reading, I got 356. And on the writing, I got 365. Um, on the math part, I needed a 350. And I don't know, I, cause I think I took, it was like the Thea or something back in the day when I tried college the first time. I don't remember what the number requirement was and I don't remember what I made. But on this one, I needed to make a 350 to pass and I made a 359. So I passed all three sections. So I don't have to take remedial math classes. I can take regular classes like I'm a normal student. I'm so excited. The only thing was that Ed Ready thing, it went over so much stuff and like I really only needed to do like the first like three things and I would have been fine. So I don't know. But they did throw like some random function things in there which I just started learning so I don't know. I don't know. That's a little strange. But anyway, I just wanted to say that I passed and I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go get ice cream or something to celebrate. And then Aaron comes home today. I'm, I'm just excited. I do have to reapply to college though, because I, you know, cause I originally applied and then I just kind of let it sit there for a long time. Cause I got discouraged. I was like, I can't do this. So I just have to reapply and everything will stay the same. I don't have to send off for my transcripts again. And then I can get set up with an advisor and all that stuff. So yay. Okay. Okay. I'm done. I'm done talking. Okay. Bye.